an explanation of how to create your own shortcut to keep any window always on top. The problem that we are exploring today is that in SDL Trado Studio, when you open the, uh, the find and replace window, for example, like this, um, let's see. After you have uh, completed a find operation, for example, when you click back on the program, the window um, goes to the background. We want to keep it on the foreground all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a little auto hotkey script to do that. I'm going to use the script now and then I will explain how to use it. So now I have called back the window, um, the find and replace window. And if I click control space, now the window will always stay on top. Let's say that I want to search for text and I find it and I click on um, the editor view and the find and replace window stays always on top. How do we do this? Well, in order to do this, if you don't have auto hotkey yet, let me get rid of that window. If you don't have auto hotkey yet, um, then just go to autohotkey.com um, download and download the installer. After you download the installer, just install it and then don't expect anything else to happen. You don't need to open a program or anything. After you have done that, simply go to any folder in your, uh, in your configuration on your computer. I have this folder that is called Auto Hotkey Scripts and just right click on there and then uh, go to, let's see if we can move this up a little. Um, right click and then new and select auto hotkey script and then just give it any name in this case we're going to call it always on top after you have created the script right click on it and open it with an um, a plain text editor i'm going to edit it with notepad plus plus and so we see something like this open and right here, I'm just going to paste the code. This is what you have to enter um, to create the script. And once you have created the script, you just save it. And this means that you will have to uh, press control space to keep the window always on top. So just save that and then you can close this. And once you go back to your folder where you have the script, just double click on it. Double clicking on the name of the file loads the script and you should see a green square with a white H that looks like this on the system tray. And that means your script has been loaded. And so after you have double clicked on it and it has been loaded, then the hotkey um, control space in this case is available for you to keep your window always on top. So going back to studio here, if I had closed the window earlier, but if we once again do this and um, after I do that or at any point I just click control space and remember the window will stay on top until I close it.